Welcome everyone to this message for someone quick check-in reading. These are timeless general readings, so allow the message to resonate as it's meant to. Let's jump right in and see what the universe wants me to share with you today. The Queen of Swords reversed. Oh my goodness, I am feeling a very nasty, cruel energy coming off of that card. Look at that. The universe is asking you to release whoever or whatever this energy is. Take a look at this. Look at the butterflies bursting from the chest. Look at the new moon. Look at the number 27. Wow. Yeah, you are being asked to release. The number 27 represents nine. This is a cycle of completion. The new moon represents new beginnings. Once you let go and release whoever this toxic energy is. Um, and with the, you know, butterflies bursting from her chest, that means you're going to go through a metamorphosis once you release this negative energy from the Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, so whoever this is in your life or whatever this represents in your life, wow, this is pretty bad. This is some very bitter, nasty, cruel energy. I'm hearing absent mother now this doesn't have to be gender specific but i am hearing absent mother so this might be someone in your life that is a mother figure that may really be causing you a lot of grief a lot of heartache um, but just keep in mind in tarot just because it's a queen of swords doesn't mean that it's you know female it can be male it's just somebody who's embodying you know this energy I sense that you are grappling. Wow, I mean, it's like awful. You're grappling with a really toxic presence in your life, you know, and this person may be an air sign, being that it is swords, you know, Gemini, um, Libra, or Aquarius. But this individual, whoever this is in your life, they bring, it's like what I'm feeling right now. Let me see if I can kind of explain this. It Oh man, it is like suffocating the dark cloud that looms around this person. I mean, it is so toxic. This person's actions, they feel vindictive, nasty, cruel, you know, leaving you drained and emotionally wounded. You probably try to avoid this person at all costs. They exhibit traits of, um, like I, I keep hearing cheater. They cheat, they're deceitful. There's like, this unforgiving behavior, like they do things that you just like, why are you doing that? And they make you question your worth. Wow. So the universe is saying it's time to release this person. You deserve better. Yeah, I can feel that no matter what you're doing, they cause problems and chaos. You know, you could be just sitting around relaxing and it's almost like they seek you out you're gonna know who this is automatically if this message is for you you will have no doubt whatsoever because it feels like i can see someone sitting on a couch watching tv and somebody walks in and just starts picking at the person sitting on the couch because they happen to be happy watching tv wow so this person is just like inherently just they're miserable they are so miserable it feels like they almost like act like i'm the happiest person ever wow the games they play they act like the world just revolves around them it's like they're basically the only thing that matters in any situation you will have no doubt on who this is in your life there is so much mental torment in this energy it is like it is overwhelming i am so sorry you are going through this whoever this is for this is awful this feels awful it feels like you're stuck whoever this is it's almost like you're stuck in obligation and it always it, it oh my goodness it feels like they're always talking they never stop it's always what it's like they um it's like they like to hear themselves talk oh my goodness yeah, they take the fun out of everything, literally everything. I'm seeing in my mind a garden, beautiful and lush. Oh my goodness, this is giving me chills. And I'm watching this darkness literally overtake this beautiful garden. You, wow, are that beautiful garden and the universe. Oh my goodness. 
Wow, this energy is intense. The universe is saying you deserve better than to lose everything because this person is nothing but darkness. They're like a black hole. They're literally like a black hole and you are being asked to release, to remember your worth and do what you can to get away from this person. It feels like this individual in your life, they represent a literal mental fog for you causing, you know, poor communication and dysfunction like they might even trigger obsessive or dependent tendencies within you keeping you like trapped in this cycle of negativity oh my goodness whoa you know for someone specific this is definitely a narcissist that you're dealing with you are definitely dealing with some narcissistic abuse i'm I'm just feeling these wounds of abandonment. So for someone specific, this really does have to do with an absent mother figure. And there's just this very significant wound with this person. So maybe whoever you're dealing with is a mother figure or a parental figure because it doesn't have to be a female. It's just somebody who embodies this energy. You know, maybe they abandoned you. Maybe they were not very nice to you. Maybe they've come back into your life. I'm seeing all these different scenarios. It's truly surreal what I'm seeing here because there's so many energies coming through. But for someone specific, you know, the universe is guiding you to heal this wound. You may even be tolerating something due to whatever this is around abandonment. I don't know who this is for, but please, if it resonates, you know, heed this message because the universe is saying you deserve better and it's time to heal. Whoa, I'm hearing the lyrics to, um, uh, it's, uh, I just, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Um, it's called, um, Dear Mama by Tupac. Whoa. So this absent mother figure does not have to be a female. Okay. It's a parental figure. Okay. This person may have been incarcerated at some point during your childhood and it may have to do something with drugs. So this person has a bunch of repressed traumas, insecurities, and all of this baggage through their experiences, and they're taking it out on you. However that applies, oh my goodness. And I'm also seeing like this, this connection with this person Whoever this is to you specifically, they are blocking your path forward. Them being in your life, now I get it, release. The universe is saying you can't move on. You can't heal. You can't let go until you literally release yourself from the chains that bind you to this person. I really feel like for a lot of people, this is a family member. This is likely, you know, a parent or even a significant other because whoever it is has a very strong impact on your life. They're blocking your personal growth. They're blocking your dreams. They're affecting your physical well-being. Whoa. I just got shown major stomach issues. I'm hearing Hashimoto's thyroid issues and migraines. You are so stressed out. You are so unhappy. Wow. The universe is begging you, literally begging you right now to remember who you are and what you're worth. I am getting chills. The, the sadness that I feel from your ancestors, because this is a generational pattern for some of you. You know, a parent didn't do what they needed to do. Next generation, next generation, next generation. And you're being asked to break the chain. Wow. So if this is your story, this part of this reading, if this is your story, you're being asked to break this chain, release. Let the butterflies be reborn from you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So yeah, your spiritual team is here and they're saying, yes, you understand why this person is the way they are. You have empathy. They don't have empathy, but you do. 
You understand the depth of their pain. You know why they are the way they are, but that doesn't mean you have to tolerate the abuse, the disrespect, or the selfishness. You need to draw a line in the sand and say no more because they aren't getting any better. They're actually getting worse. Whoa. There's this feeling of entitlement in the energy like, wow, I just heard you'll never leave. You'll never leave because you need me. Whoa, whoever that was for. That was a spouse. I can feel that was a spouse. Wow. You'll never leave because you can't leave. They don't believe you'll ever leave and you'll never walk away. It's almost as if they feel like, wow, <laughs> Woo. this is wild. Um, they feel they have ownership over you and they feel entitled to this energy. Wow. If you are going through this release, it's not going to be easy. Walking away from family, walking away from a spouse, walking away where you are literally entrenched into a situation is a mountain to climb. But you don't deserve this. The universe is sending you a very powerful message right now through that card release, you know, release, you know, uplifting. Think of the card. It's coming from the earth into the cosmos with the butterflies bursting from her chest toward the new moon. Again, number 27 breaking down to nine signifies completion and closure. It's a clear indication that it's time to liberate yourself from this harmful, very harmful influence in your life. And like I said, it is not going to be easy because you might be deeply entangled with this person and the situation, making it seem nearly impossible to break free. However, the universe is asking you to prioritize yourself, your long-term health, both physically as well as mentally. You know, this may involve distancing yourself gradually. Maybe you can't just get up and walk away. It's never that easy. A lot of people will tell you that, but it's never that easy. Anytime I've had to walk away, oh my goodness, that was a freaking nightmare, but I had to do it. I had to power through it. And when I did, when I got on the other side, wow, my life changed for the better. Was it easy? No. Did I have a lot of hurdles, a lot of falls, a lot of things go wrong? Yes. But I felt a whole lot better about myself on the other side of that when I wasn't dealing with... <laughs> you know, a narcissist. So if you're dealing with one, anybody like this, find a way to escape, find a way to leave because it never gets better. It only gets worse. Trust me, I've lived it. I've walked this road. Wow, Whew. this is bringing up all kinds of emotions. Oh my goodness. So yeah, maybe you have to gradually distance yourself. Maybe you have to gradually start setting boundaries. So as you trigger them, as they react, you can navigate each one as a little bump on the road. You know, maybe you're going to even need to seek professional help to navigate how challenging this journey is, but you deserve it. You can do it. You know, I'm the black sheep of my family because I decided to cut away from a very toxic family tree. And was it easy? No. Did it hurt? Did I cry? Did I fall apart? Yes. But I also knew there was no other way. And the only way for me was to break generational curses for my own children. I didn't want to carry that because I literally was watching it be carried generation after generation. And I almost feel like that's what you're going through. This is very deep. This is a spouse. This is a parental figure. This is somebody very dominant in your life. They have a major impact and you feel 100% obligated. That's why it's probably family or a spouse because this is very close to your heart. And there's going to be other people around you that are gonna to try to control the narrative. That's what I'm seeing here. Wow, this energy is wild. But the universe wants you to know you deserve so much better than what you are currently going through. All right, so let's get some more clarifiers here from the universe to see what else the universe wants you to know. Virgo, you may be a Virgo. The other person may be a Virgo. 
This is interesting. Fear not the darkness. It helps you appreciate the light. Wow. Check these out. So we do have a confirmation for someone that this has to do with a Virgo. With Virgo being shown next to the Queen of Swords in reverse, this person... You know, you may be dealing with um, maybe a Virgo, you may be a Virgo, or this represents Virgo season. I'm hearing it all came to a head. Oh, so for someone specific, this has happened in a Virgo season. So something happened um, that blew the whole thing wide open um, where you reached some sort of... Um, like breaking point and I'm hearing disrespect. Ooh, so maybe during Virgo season, some sort of like profound level of disrespect has, you know, befallen you, has, you know, whatever this person did, it was major disrespect and I'm hearing betrayal. Whoa, so they betrayed you and I'm hearing they shared something that was not theirs to share. Whoa. So now it feels like you've basically had enough. You've realized it's never going to change. It's never going to get better. They are only getting worse over time. So that's why the guidance here is here. You know, fear not the darkness. It helps you appreciate the light. And it's next to the, you know, release card. This is really powerful. This is saying, you know, fear not the darkness that this release may bring. Because, you know, it is in this darkness that it's going to help you appreciate the light as you move away from the darkness. You're going to appreciate everything so much more because of everything that you've been through. And as you step away from this toxic energy, you're going to, you know, find yourself gradually reclaiming a sense of self-worth, clarity, and inner peace. Yeah. Yeah, the path ahead, it looks so much clearer. It feels so much better. And it's going to give you the space you need to heal, to learn from the past, and move toward a brighter future. And I'm hearing and to break generational curses. Wow. So some of you are about to step into a very empowered black sheep status and you're going to own it because you're going to know you're saving your own children. You're saving future generations by being different and taking a stand and saying no more of this toxicity in my life, in my family tree going forward. Whoa. Whoa, and the universe is here with you every step of the way saying, remember, you're not alone on this journey. You can tap into the universe and utilize that energy to help you. You know, and as you release this toxic energy, you're going to create space. I can feel it. I can see it. Look at the butterflies on that card. You know, you're creating positivity an energy that's beautiful, that's going to enable personal growth, and true happiness to flourish in your life. Wow, what I'm being shown right now is your garden coming back to life. Whew. Wow, this is dredging up some major emotions here. Oh my goodness. So it's coming. You're gonna overcome. You're gonna heal. You have to embrace this transformation though. And it's not going to be easy, but the universe wants you to know brighter days await you once you release this darkness that has held you captive for way too long. Claim it. Own it. Be it. Feel it. Write it in the comments. Say yes to yourself. Say, I release the toxic energies in my life, making room for my own light to shine brightly and guide me toward a happier, healthier future for myself and for future generations Wow, what a reading. So release, let go, and be reborn. This is going to be monumental. The release is asking you to shift from the caterpillar to the butterfly. So this is huge. This is a major transformation, but you can do it. You are going to do it. 
and you are going to live the life of your dreams on the other side of this because you know what? You may have been crawling on your belly just trying to survive, just trying to get through, you know, whatever this person has been putting you through, but now look what you're getting. You're no longer crawling on your belly. You're getting wings and you're going to soar above all of this darkness into the light. Yes, you are. Claim it, own it. See, yes, this is my time and I am releasing this toxicity and you are going to. I believe in you. The universe believes in you. Your ancestors are here. Your spiritual team is here. We all believe in you. You're going to accomplish this. Wow, what a reading. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so that's all I have for you. Thank you so very much for joining me. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like and subscribe. I will be uploading videos every week, and I look forward to seeing you in the next reading.